Welcome, welcome, Geminis, on my channel, Kasha Tarot. This will be uh, your reading for a month of uh, December. And what we will be talking about during the month of December. Sorry, I'm looking for my cards. So, well, general energy. So I will pick up some cards for your general energy for December 2023. Work and finances. Definitely we'll talk about your love life and general advice anyway welcome let's see what our cards or is this for you regarding general energy for a month of december general energy for a month of december for gemini's month of december gemini's Mm, we have a Queen of Wands. We have an Eight of Cups. And we have Six of Cups. There will be this the emotional disattachment in the month of December from the Queen of Wands. This is very attractive person in here. It can be you or it can be someone else. But let's say that this will be your energy. You can be you will be quite bold, attractive. Uh, very full of energy, uh, go get her. This is that energy of Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is not taking any bullshit from anyone. You will be leaving also situation what doesn't serve you anymore. Emotionally, you will be moving on. You will be moving on to the place from your past, something to do with your past, sweet memories, person from the past, towards there. You will be moving towards there. You know, this is general energy plus general reading plus general energy. So take what suits you, what, what match with your situation. But as an attractive person, as a queen of wands, you will take some action in December. And you want to bring back, I think, someone or something from your past. You want to move towards there. Let's see. Let's see what cards want to say about this general energy. Why do we have a Queen of Wands in here? Why do we have a Queen of Wands in here? Who is that Queen of Wands? Well, this is the person who you love. You will be talking with that person. This is the, the person you are in relationship with, that Queen of Wands. This is the person who you want to be in relationship with, that Queen of Wands. Well, why do we have Nine of Cups in here? Why do we have a Nine of Cups in here? Because you want justice to be served, you want to have some more fun, you have a decision to make. I'm not sure what's going on in your relationship, but this is kind of new loving relationship. But you will be leaving something because you don't, probably you don't feel that you, you are treated fair in that relationship. You want to have some more fun, maybe it's too serious in here, maybe the commitment, real commitment is not for you, Gemini's. And you will be a little bit thorn in uh, December. What else to do? Why do we have a Six of Cups? Maybe you would like to come back to your past, your past life, leaving that Queen of Wands. You want to start something new. You will have a passion for something new. Maybe you will be working on yourself or maybe you want to start something new. But this is also home. You want to build a home. You want to build a family. But there is some, something in here, decision to be made, which is really hard for you to make. And you want to kind of emotionally disattach yourself from that decision. That decision is regarding, regarding relationship, serious relationship. So someone in here wants to have a serious relationship. I don't know who, who is who. But someone wants to have a serious relationship. There is a love in here, but another person doesn't know what to do. And I don't know, Gemini, are you going to disattach yourself from the situation? You want to have some more fun? Or that person is not very much uh, ready to be in the um, committed relationship. So it's decision in here and you have to make. So you kind of, in December, you disattach yourself emotionally from the whole situation. All what you want, you want to be with the person who you love. You want to be with the person from the past. Um, you want to start new building foundation and working for it with the person with someone from your past. 
So this is general energy. We'll come back to love we'll, and, and we will see what the love reading will be about. But let's see work situation for Gemini's in December. Work and finances. Work and finances for Gemini's in December. We have a temperance. We have a two of pentacles. We have a six of cups. Again, coming back to the past, to your own roots, to this, what you were doing before. Look, there will be a little bit of stress. You will be thinking to come back to the past. I think you will be, Gemini, thinking about a lot about past. Also, in that general energy, six of cups will, is your main card for this reading anyway. So, nostalgic, sweet memories from the past, coming back to your roots where you were born doing this stuff, meeting the people from your past, coming back to your roots, to your family, to memories where you, where you had the most happy memories. Regarding work, it can be you can be thinking about the past time where it was quite all right. There will be lots of stress at your work. You love you like doing job what you like to do, but you will be stressing quite a lot in December. Something is there what will stress you out regarding your work. I think you have to keep um, balance. You have to keep calm in December because you will be managing quite a lot of stuff and um, just keep balance. We have two of pentacles. Keep balance and stay calm because there will be lots of work and stress for you in December. I don't know what you worry about but let's see. Why we have to... You will be managing maybe two things, work, home, kids, school, whatever, so it will be quite busy for you but the card thing to keep calm. You have to stay calm inside. Why do you have a temperance? Yeah, there is a work. Even your boss can. There will be some changes uh, at your work. It's a good news coming your way. Truth. New idea. Why do we have a five of cups? You will be traveling maybe to the place. You will be thinking about coming back to your old place maybe where you work or what you were doing before yeah you will be working quite hard in december some of some of you can have a court cases and looking forward to this and why is stress maybe this will be stressing you out why do i have a nine of swords there is some woman who can stress you out uh, someone can say something to you. There will be some woman who can stress you out at work. It's again that Queen of Wands. There is the Queen of Wands. She will be stressing you out. She will make you feel. Some of you, uh, Gemini, you can lose the job by because some woman, and you will be thinking to come back to your uh, to your past place where you worked before, maybe. Uh, there is something, some or some of you Geminis can deal with the court cases and here we have a justice in here and you, you can be quite focused on it. But be careful on this Queen of Wands. I don't know who is that, but second time that woman is coming coming up, uh, it can be a, 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 a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo or Aries, someone from this horoscope sign, but in general, very attractive, very hands-on, very uh, active uh, person, very bold person, woman like that. And because of that woman, that woman will be stressing you out. And you can feel abandoned also by that woman, left by that woman in December. Um, there will be plans. You will be even planning to come, because maybe because of that, you will be planning to move back to your old place where you work or what you were doing before. But what cards say to stay, stay calm in your workplace? There will be big changes coming. There will be some changes at your work. Good news, um, new ideas, and you will be managing quite a lot. But there is that woman, there will be some kind of, some woman at your workplace what may, may, maybe will be stressing you out. I don't see ending yet. I see you stressing out. That's it. Let's see a love life for our Geminis for December. A love life for December, Geminis, love life for December 2023. 
love situation, what love, love drama, what's going on in a love department for Gemini's in December? We have ten of cups. We have nine of cups. We have knight of wands. We have the fool. And we have the chariot, very positive card in a love life. I don't see that your partner at the moment in here. It can be some fire sign too. Um, what I see in here, December will be a month where will be, you will be starting new. You will be starting new with your relationship. You will be feeling like a fool. You will be doing funny stuff. You will be very full of energy, very, very happy. December will be a very happy month if we're talking about a relationship. Uh, you have that Ten of Cups, you have a Nine of Cups, you will be feeling by yourself, okay, even thinking if you if you have a distance relationship, you will be very happy. There is this, this sense of, oh, something new is coming on. I'm waiting, I can't wait for that person to see. Uh, you can travel also in December, during December, you can travel to that person, you can be excited, very happy, full of energy, lots of passion in here from your side. Very nice energy, very happy, very happy cards for December for Gemini. All together, good news, nice news, nice messages. This is from person with the past. You can, this is long term relationship, someone who you know already. This is, I don't see any new person, but uh, lots of messages, nice messages, talking, uh, just in love. Nine of Cups. Starting new ideas to how to start new life. And again, Ten of Cups. Beautiful card for December. Beautiful card. Why well, have a nine of wands, Knight of Wands? You will be passionate about that person. You're a little bit worried with that passion. You're a little bit worried. You, you have to be more brave. We have the moon in here. You don't know everything. But you have a passion. You have to be a little bit cautious whatever you do because you don't know all the story. There is a passion, lots of passion, but there's also lots of fears around. There is a moon in here, so you don't know all the stuff. And you maybe you will be thinking about some secrets, what that person may be hiding. Maybe it's too good to be true. true because the cards are beautiful and you will be feeling great. Why do we have it a fool? You want to start anew and heal your... Um, heal your broken heart. You can deal with another uh, air sign. Uh, like um, Gemini, of course, Aquarius, Libra, who broke your heart, but you want to restart it new. There is that very important person for you. That person broke your heart. And maybe there is also there is also some doubts regarding your passion towards that person because that person in the past maybe broke your heart, but you still want to start new. Why do we have a chariot? I see Libra. You want a fair relationship. You want to build a home. You want to build a foundation. You will put lots of effort to put foundation for a new home, for a new fair relationship. Definitely beautiful cards for December. Um, you will be with passion, build, building, starting building or still building the relationship with someone who you love, someone who actually broke your heart. But you're starting new. There is lots of passion from both sides. I see ten, twice you have ten of cups. You will be emotionally fulfilled. You'll spend the Christmas together. Um, there is a little bit of doubts in here. But still there is a passion and a success. This is kind of traveling also and success. Success in fairness and starting building foundation for a nice new relationship. Renewing relationship. Um, and happy times, really nice fun. You will have a nice memories from this during this Christmas. So make a lots of photos, Gemini, because this Christmas will be really happy relationship Christmas, happy month. And let's see general advice for our Gemini for December. Seven of Wands. Again, look, you don't know all the truth what's going on around you. You don't know all the truth. What card says again, stay calm. We have temperance in here. Still, still, uh, stay calm. Create a calm environment. 
same kind inside. Don't block also other people. Take take advice from other people. Don't block yourself because you standing standing like that. I don't want to hear anyone's opinion. I'm not interested. I know the best. Uh, I'm not interested. But take stay calm. Don't don't panic. Do everything. Use your intuition and everything what you do also, and stay calm. They saying to find a balance in yourself. Don't stress too much. It's not worth it. And take this blockage away from people. Don't block people. Talk to people. Come out. Don't close yourself to other ideas, to other people, what they want to say. Stay balanced. And also use your intuition. There is some secret. Can They can come out or maybe you're doing something in the secret. Or there is some secrets around you, what you don't know what's going on around. But the card saying to stay calm and take this, take this the seven of wands. Just don't block yourself to others. Don't do that. Anyway, this was your reading for December. Happy December. Nice cards. A little bit, maybe a little bit stress at work, but apart that beautiful card, beautiful loved cards. Uh, take care, Geminis, and see you soon.